Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some of the highlights that were released in September 2021. This one is in the list of paid systems and tools. In the last video I already covered all of the best free new assets, so go watch that if you haven't seen it. And in the next video I will be covering the top assets and effects. Let me know which one of these you're most interested in and I might do a detailed review on it. As always, there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. By the way, there's a mega bundle happening right now on the Unity Asset Store. As usual, it's a super deep discount, up to 95% off. It contains lots of interesting tools, so there's one to help you manage an inventory database, another one for placing some decals and a terrain system, there's a digging system, you can slice meshes, volumetric VFX, and tons more. As usual, with such a deep discount, it's worth it if just one of these assets looks interesting. Check it out with the link in the description. Alright, so starting off with a really interesting interactive effects engine. It helps you bring your scenes to life by having your effects interact with other objects. For example, you can make some fire that spreads to nearby objects, make a plan to grow around an object, or freeze everything in sight or electrify it. You can modify everything since all of the effects are done with Unity's VFX graph. It includes six effects for use with both URP and AGRP, and then three variations only for AGRP with some excellent visuals. If your game features elemental magic, then this asset would be a great thing to base all of your spells on. Next up, if your game involves some sort of furry creatures, check out this first studio. This is a fur rendering system. It was designed for extreme performance, quality, and ease of use. It used your GPU to the max while also working on mobile. The effect looks pretty great, all of the fur reacts to the animated character exactly as it should, so as it moves the fur also moves with it. You can get just the URP edition or pick up the ultimate edition if you also need to work on the built-in or the high definition render pipeline. And next up is an anti-cheat toolkit. Now my opinion on what to do about cheating in your own games is simply don't bother. If you're working on a single player game, then don't really waste your time trying to stop players from cheating on their own games. You're better off spending that time just making the game better. But if you do want to try and stop cheating, then you might as well use a proper asset instead of trying to handle security on your own. And of course, if you are working on a multiplayer game, then of course you do need to deal with cheating. This one obscures position in memory, so things like cheat engine cannot find it. It also detects DLL injection, it protects binary files, detects speed hacks, wall hacks, and so on. So like I said, in most cases, don't worry about it, but if you do, then use a proper asset like this one. And then here is a universal vehicle controller. It's got quite a lot of features. Obviously you can drive it, but you also have drifting, you've got some lights, you've got nitrous, and so on. And it even includes some pretty nice destruction. All of the panels come off and the whole car gets totally destroyed. On top of that, it also includes AI, so you can easily create the AI path and play against the computer. It's a great starting point for your next racing game. If you're working on a game with some crafting, maybe look into this crafting system. Create your items, define the icon, select the prefab, define a stack size and a bunch more properties. You create a recipe and drag drop to define how it works. You can pick up items and add them to your inventory, open the recipe and craft the item. Seems pretty easy to use, it's got tutorial videos as well as detailed documentation. Up next, here's a unique one, it's a streaming engine. You can stream your Unity window to an HTML page, you can stream from your PC onto mobile, so it allows you to add live streaming into your game with ease. You can use it for video chat, remote assist, teaching and learning and so on. So it's a pretty specific thing, but based on reviews, it works very well. Then a tool that might be very useful to you, World Clusters. You can split your world into multiple clusters and easily toggle them either on or off. This can be great for performance. You can split your massive world into many pieces and only load the nearest ones. Or it can also be great for vertical games with many floors. You make each floor into a cluster and only load the second floor when the player goes up there. By unloading unused objects, you can really massively improve the performance of your game. I'm always a fan of tools that do just one thing very well, and this is exactly it. Then, if you have water in your game, here's a great looking water system. It looks very realistic. You've got some water and waves. You've got underwater rendering with some gorgeous looking light rays. You can even manually paint the currents in the ocean in order to make the scene feel much more natural. 
And of course, play around the visuals to get any visual you want, so you can make a gorgeous bright blue lake or a really dark and scary ocean. Whatever settings you choose, it always looks great. If you're into AR games, and especially something like Pokemon Go, then check out this template. It lets you throw objects in AR, use two throwing modes and customize all of the parameters. Personally, I haven't used AR in Unity, so no idea how good this is, but if you're trying to build your own Pokemon Go, then this could be a good starting point. And at last, also a very interesting tool, a UI layout customizer. This one is especially useful for mobile games, where a lot of players like to customize the controls. Instead of forcing one layout on your players, let them place the buttons and joysticks wherever they prefer. You can change the size and opacity and really customize any element you want. Based on the description, it's super easy to use, just attach a script onto any object you want to move and it just works. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity Asset Store for September 2021. There's links to all in the description and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Check out the full playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets and let me know if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.